In my 35 years as a contractor, we progressively went deeper and we were building sumps larger in diameter to displace more water. As an industry, on a whole, this is what we did. And you know what? We got it wrong. One day I said, there's got to be an easier way. And that's when I started working on a horizontal sump station where it displaces more water than a 30 inch round six foot deep sump pit this is a first a duplex lift station fully plumbed for the DIY and contractor to put in any situation that demands a lift station sump pump system. This is not indoor material. This is not a cheap, flimsy basin. This is heavy, dual wall, culvert pipe. This is custom welded, custom made, with an extended horizontal chamber that'll give you 80% less cycling of your sump pump, extending the life of the sump pump system. Welcome to the French Drain Man channel. I'm Robert Sherwood and I want to talk about duplex systems. What you see in front of me is the housing to a micro bad seed duplex system. It's just easier to handle, easier to deal with and talk about and do, you know, just demonstration work for you guys, videos with the housing and not the pump and all the plumbing and everything that goes with it. These things get, they do get pretty heavy. So this is just the housing. There'd be a pump in this one, a pump in this one, and this would be a duplex model. Every single unit that we have in our catalog, every single one in our 2021 catalog can be made a duplex. Anyone. One of my favorites is the 40 inch bad seed. We sell it all the time. People want a lot of slope, so they want something that's going to be a deep dig. They want to go 40 inches deep so that they can slope their system. The more slope, the faster you move the water. And you definitely want a duplex system if you're moving water to that system and you're feeding it that quick. Now what's going to happen during really big rain events? When you need it the most is when you're going to run into trouble. The very best pumps, the very best pumps will overheat and they throw a thermo switch. This is so that you don't burn up your pump. The problem is once that pump throws that thermo switch, nothing's pumping water. This has to cool down. It has to reach a temperature to where it's safe to operate again and then it'll turn back on until it reaches a really hot temperature again. So this is the problem during, say, here in the north, we'll get three, four inches of rain. That's a big rain event for us. I know in the south, you guys get crazy rain. Sometimes they measure it in feet during those tropical storms. You definitely need a duplex system because when one pump shuts off, at least you still have the other one to lean on. I highly recommend it. To be really honest with you, if you had two pumps running, it's so easy now that usually you won't even have a pump throw a thermo switch. One of the reasons why you want to try to reduce the chance of throwing a thermo switch, every once in a while, a thermo switch will trip a breaker in your electric panel. And then when it cools off, there's no chance at all that that thing is going to you know, run for you because there's no power to it. So. Duplex systems, I highly endorse them. I highly recommend them. I use them so that I don't get no callbacks. As a contractor, if I put in a duplex system versus a single pump system, I know nobody's ever gonna call me. They're not gonna wake up and look out the door and have a situation where their pump through the thermo switch and then maybe trip the breaker. And now they're calling me saying, hey, the system failed on the biggest rain event of the year because that's when it happens. So keep that in mind. I love duplex models. If you're a contractor, you'll never get a call if you have a two pump system. It's foolproof. 
A duplex protects your property better than anything. So I do recommend duplexes, unless it is just a very small area that collects in ponds in the back and it doesn't harm no one. You can throw a, a breaker, you can have a thermal switch on a pump, throw a breaker, it doesn't mean anything. In the morning, you could see the puddle in the backyard, you could go ahead, you know, flip the breaker back and just let it run. If that's the case, the single units are fine. So I showed you what the housing looked like to the bed. Uh, this is the Screaming Demon. Let me sh All right, so they get a little heavier when they're fully plumbed and uh, they have pumps in them. So the micro unit, we can ship in a box. This unit here gets shipped out just the way you see it. We do have to give you a double bell coupler so that you can make the connection, okay? So that's how this goes out as a duplex. Two boxes. Now the micro units, that's the micro bad seed, the micro screaming demon, which is before me, those can be shipped in boxes, but everything else is too big and it needs to go out in freight. So it has to go out on a pallet, keep that in mind. So I'll show you what the micro bad seed looks like and the big housing, the full frame, give you an idea. Okay, here is the micro bad seed in a duplex. We would ship this out in two separate boxes. Here's one unit, here's another. You got the two pumps. Now you have all that insurance you need. You don't have to worry. You can go on vacation. You don't have to be concerned because you have two pumps. A pump failure is not going to be a problem dewatering whatever your system's built for. When the waves are coming over in, in Michigan here, the Great Lakes, Lake St. Clair, when the waves are coming over the seawall, that's hard to keep up with. Duplex systems will. I do it all the time. It's my go-to. I'm starting to put in duplex systems for most everything just because I'm never going to be bothered. That's, that's key. So it's a little more insurance and it really, really does make all the difference in the world, in my opinion. You've already put in all the sweat equity, you've already put in all the hard work. A duplex model, it's, it's definitely, it has huge advantages over a single unit. So just something to consider. Now, again, you see the coupler, we would just ship this to where you could snap it together and that's it. Anything can be made into a duplex is what I'm trying to get across. Now, the chamber on this, here's a difference between the Screaming Demon and the Bad Seed. So let's make sure everybody understands this. The chamber is all one. You can look at that bottom chamber and it's just from one end to the other, it's all one. So you only need one heater. So that's the difference. We sell a heater in our online store for, you know, dry wells, big giant crocs, you know, the bad seed. However, I wouldn't recommend that one for the Screaming Demon and I'll tell you why. All right, so here's the micro Screaming Demon. The full frame is just way bigger. Uh, for example, <laughs> All right, so that shows you the difference when you go to a full frame. You're gonna displace so much more water. You're gonna get a deeper dig. You can see the height difference. I love the full frame stuff. We usually put in full frame. It, it's a small water problem if I'm doing the micros. And if I'm gonna do a duplex in the micro units, I prefer to do a Screaming Demon. Now talking about heaters, notice how we have two basins, two sumps in this unit, two sumps. We need two heaters because if we got a heater in one side, it's not going to heat the other side. Here's one half of a Screaming Demon duplex. The gray cord is the heater. 
We use a different heater, a special heater for the Screaming Demons. I can install that myself personally if you call the office and say, hey, I'm buying the duplex Screaming Demon or single, doesn't matter. I'll, I'll get you the right heater for you. But the Screaming Demons take a different heater than the Bad Seed and, and the Mighty Mini, all those that take The full frame housing, the full frame housing, the bad seed, and when you have a duplex and it's all just one chamber length, one heater will do. So we use a bigger heater. We, we use a totally different method to prevent the bad seeds from freezing and the way we protect the screaming demon from, from uh, freezing up. So we definitely have figured it all out our pain, enjoy the fruit of our labor because we streamlined it and it couldn't be easier for you guys. All right, everybody, until that next video.